Hi, my name is Zach Kesson, and uh, today on the Beam channel, I wanted to talk to you about the Erlang uh, print directory, which is a feature of every Erlang Elixir application that you can use, and I'll show you how to use it. So as you work around Erlang and Elixir, you may occasionally come across the idea of a priv directory, and you kind of might wonder what it is. So every Erlang and Elixir application has a certain directory structure. Some of these directories may be present, may not, and the priv directory is one of them. It is a directory that the Beam sets up for files that are private to the application, priv for private. So, for example, static assets might go in there. Uh, if you have some HTML and CSS, JavaScript, good place to put it. If you have Data files, config, not config files, they're, they're on directory. It goes there. They can put them there. And as you build a release and do other things, there. And then there's a function in the application module, uh, get privdo, that you give it the name of the application and it'll tell you what the directory is. So this is the advantage that it provides you a way to access files that is relative to an application and not a base system. So as you move from your product, your development requirement to release from your machine to your co-worker's machine, and maybe you set up where you put your files differently, the system just knows how to find everything. It makes life much easier in that you may, you know, you can just say, okay, application X has these files. In addition, if you have a bunch of files, you can actually create an extra OTP application for just those files. We just have an application file that does nothing. It doesn't start a supervisor or anything like that. It just has a priv directory. And in the priv directory, you have your files. And those could again be some chunk of HTML, CSS. It could be something else that may, you know, images, whatever, that you may need to serve. So if you have something that, you know, you want to sort of isolate in itself and have early know about, that's how we do it. And you could even do things like if you have one team developing the back end and one team developing the front end, just make a dependency that using hex or rebar, it just pulls in the front end code from GitLab, GitHub, whatever your, your Git server provider is, into. Any rate, that is what the print directory is, and I hope that was helpful.